What's going on guys, Linus here, and welcome to my video about Dungeon Land, a game that is being developed by Critical Studio and published by Paradox Interactive. This is the beta that I have on Steam. I managed to uh, snag a key, and the actual game is coming out on the 29th of January, at least where I live, but I'm pretty sure that that's exactly where it's going to be released everywhere. And this is the character creation screen, where you can pick your, your little team of heroes. Um, I personally decided to play as a warrior, um, but the game actually recommends that you play with a rogue and a mage in there, because, you know, mages can heal. Even though he doesn't really look like a healer, he can heal, so I decided to put one of them in there. Um, here you can just see me customizing my hero, there's lots of options for color, for all sorts of equipment. And we jumped right into the game. So you got a little tutorial. I decided to play Cannibal Kingdom, which is one of the first uh, maps that is available to you. And like I said, I'm playing as the warrior, so I'm sort of a tanky character. My special skill um, has everything to do with defending yourself from attacks. Uh, basically, the, the game sort of explains everything to you, how to use your skills, what spawners are. This is one of them. Um, you don't see them right now, but I'm going to go over there right away. This was the first time I actually played, so obviously I was absolutely terrible at the game. I did a lot of dying, and a lot of it. Um, this is actually not, no longer uh, sped up. This is a uh, real speed. <clears throat> As you can see in the upper right corner, your whole team shares three lives. If those are up, someone dies, the game is over for the heroes. So, you have to help each other up if you go down. I'm pretty sure the first time around, I did not get helped up. And, um, well, it's, I mean, it's a really tough game. You, the only available, um, difficulty options are hard, I think, very hard, and some sort of extreme mode. There is no easy mode. It's extremely tough. This is the easiest difficulty I was playing on. And even then, you die in a few hits. Uh, it took me a little while to get into the game and see exactly how to play it. You know, maybe I shouldn't have picked Warrior, but I should have picked something else. I'm not really sure. But the warrior is a very tanky character, I thought. Most of the time in, in you know, role-playing games, they have lots of health, they're very good at defending, so I thought, hmm, this could work. I'll just play as a warrior and I'll do really good. But that's not really how it went. But anyway, this is, like I said, the Cannibal Kingdom. You fight lots of monkeys, you fight giant ducks, which is very interesting. Um, and I just you actually came into the sort of the food court area. It's all very funny, I guess. It's not very realistic in the sense that you actually go into a dungeon. They're all theme park based. This is a theme park world that you play in. And it's just a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I, I got the beta and I'm pretty sure not everybody got a beta. So I didn't get a chance to play co-op uh, mode. And this is where we lost because the rope died. But I didn't really get to play co-op. So I don't know if that is a lot better or... I mean, I imagine it's way more fun when playing with friends. But I still had some fun by myself with the, uh, the bots. Now this is the Dungeon Maestro mode, where you can pick all your spells, your tricks, your trap support. You have a lot of things you can do to mess with the heroes. This is um, basically inspired by those board games, I believe, where one person is a Dungeon Master and the other people are actual heroes, and Dungeon Master is in charge of making sure the heroes do not reach their destination. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to pick from. I um, just picked everything that was available at the start. You can pick the difficulty here uh, for the hero, so you can make it really easy on them. You can make it really hard on them. Um, I don't know how it works on in, in, in the online mode, but I imagine that you somehow get to vote on that. I'm not sure at all how that works, but I guess we'll see when the game is released. And you have a bunch of monsters you can summon, which is actually a lot of fun. Um, you pick random cards during the game. You can't see it right now. You can pick one trait as well, so you get extra mana. Um, but basically the way it works is that you actually pick cards from your little sort of deck. And you can play those cards to place, just to mess with the side. heroes. So as you can see in the bottom, uh, in the bottom of the screen right now, you can see all the Not cards I have. There's a bunch of monsters, side. there's some spells, some traps, you know, like mines. And I actually, um, I use all of it. This was a missile. And if you throw it out on someone, they get a lot of damage. I was ma thinking for a second that maybe I could actually kill the heroes right here. But this was the first time I even played the game, and then I just jumped into the dungeon maestro mode, so I wasn't really sure if it was going to be easy or not. But after you get into it a little bit, it is actually pretty fun to try and mess with the heroes. There's lots of uh, funny tricks 
For example, you can mess with the control schemes of the uh, the hero's controls, whether they're playing on keyboard or gamepad, which is available in this game. Uh, their controls will just get all confused, and they don't know what to do. They just start running in random directions. Um, you have little loot containers that actually explode when they open them, so they're expecting some cool loot. But it, instead of that, they just explode, they die. It's a lot of fun. I love this mode. Uh, also, what, uh, got a spawner here, you which you can actually use. It's really you nice to be able to combine these friend. cards. For example, I got a spawner. You, you can put a little freeze boss. thing right next to it, uh, so if a hero to tries to kill your spawner, he gets frozen. He gets a lot, a lot of damage done to him. Uh, there also is a left button that will give you your evil laugh for when you're playing against the heroes to make sure that they understand how evil you really are and that they got defeated by you because you're super evil. Uh, I think this was the first heroes time where I actually got the heroes boss. to die, which wasn't as easy as I thought or was hoping it would be. It took some uh, some pretty good cards to actually take him down, but in the end, I did win. Um, the only remaining player tried to save the other ones, but it wasn't an option anymore, and I won. So there we go. That is the Dungeon Meister mode. Now, lastly, I'd like to show you the item shop. As you can see, there is a giant amount of of things to buy. You don't have to spend real life money. This is all in-game money, which you get from actually just playing with friends or by yourself. You can buy all kinds of armor, a bunch of weapons. There's mysterious item items. I don't really know what they are, but I imagine they're random uh, weapons or weapons that you don't know what they are. There's hats, obviously. You cannot make a game anymore that doesn't have hats. Um, there's potions. I haven't really showed them yet. I'm still looking at the hats. I saw this hat that sort of looked like uh, Link from The Legend of Zelda, and I wanted to check it out on the warrior. And there you go. That's what it looks like. So you can actually look at your character in those items. So that's pretty cool. These are the potions. Um, I couldn't really figure out how to look at the potions to see what they did. But it's nice to see that you can actually get all sorts of skills and perks and, and potions in the game. Better that heals heroes. It would be a lot of fun to play with a full party of friends and all just sort of get items that complement each other. And I don't know, I'm just really looking forward to the release of the game. But anyway, that is the end of the video. Make sure to check out the links below to see more videos made by other Machinima directors to uh, talk about Dungeon Land. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I can see some of you in Dungeon Land itself when it releases on the 29th of January on Steam. Thanks for watching.